Chris, very well invited. Uh, your success today, um, how come you were able to survive and thrive at times when nobody else could to run Australia's in? Um, probably a little bit of luck, to be honest, but um, oh, look, I, I don't know. It's It was one of those... Um, innings I think you just had to fight for everything you get and and that's probably been a characteristic of my career I, I think so uh, yeah I, I, it was tough conditions I didn't think we probably expected them to be as as, as hard as they were um, but I think that you know the cloud came over and it, and it really it it swung and it um, it seemed um, and yeah, I, um, I just managed to, to get through, I think, and, and the others got, got some good balls and, and then probably some, some disappointing shots as well. Chris, obviously, uh, Michael won the toss and, and batted. Did, as an opening batsman, did you, were you sort of content with that decision or was it a bit more 50-50 with conditions? Uh, generally, I like to bowl first, but um, no, I, it's... I think, you know, you look at the way that the series has gone so far and, and we, we still had a lot of question marks over that wicket. There's still some cracks in it. Um, and, and ideally, you know, we, if we got a score on the board um, and then been able to bowl England out for relatively a, a similar score and then get ahead of them, I think fourth innings, you know, would, would be really tough. So um, I, I've no problem with, with us winning the toss and batting on that. Chris, there's a lot of conjecture about whether you would play or not. When did you get the all clear? Uh, I guess it was still a day-by-day -day basis. Um, and just seeing if, if any symptoms, uh, uh, you know, came about again. So um, uh, I felt pretty good. You know, there, at times I didn't feel 100%, but uh, equally, uh, you know, there wasn't really anything bad enough for, for me not to play. So... Um, you know, I was I was well aware of what was going on, and 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 knew that my health was, you know, is very important. So um, I wouldn't have played if I didn't feel I was right. Yeah. Chris, um, that talking about scrapping through the day and trying to get get through against good bowling in difficult conditions is that mode of batting something that's becoming less prevalent in the Australian system over the over the years? Um. Oh, it's hard to know, you know. That, I mean, it's you can't just look at it from from today's, you know, and and that's it. Or or just in England, I think, um, you know, I've been so fortunate to have a lot of experience over here. So maybe that that counts for a lot. And 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 the other guys probably just don't know the the conditions as well. So, you know, there's been tough times when we've had to fight in um in Australia or, or wherever, and 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 they've managed to to do it well. So. Um, you know, I don't think you can just look at today and, and, and say, no, we, we, the fight has gone, because, uh, you know, I'm sure it hasn't. Chris, there's been, um, your form this year has been outstanding, but any, any second thoughts about kind of carrying on feeling in this series? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 um, it's still a long way away, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying what's happening. Um, yeah, and, I, and I'll weigh that when, when we, we come to it. Chris, in conditions like that, is James Anderson just about the last person in the world you'd come on back against? Uh, he's one of them. You know, I, I, you know, I, I, I read a little bit and, and see that he, you know, he's copped it a little bit from, from you guys from, uh, for, not, for not performing as well as perhaps he could have. But, um, you know, we played him quite well. But you get conditions like this and he's, you know, he, he comes into his own. So, um, you know, he bowled very well, but, uh, you know, I don't think we played him as good as we possibly could. But I think their group as a whole bowled well, you know. I think I think particularly Finn was was, um, was good. He was fast. And, uh, you know, I think maybe Jimmy just got the, uh, the rewards. Chris, there have been reports that the players aren't happy about Brad Haddon's axing because he put his family first and eventually he's, you know, been axed from the team. What do you make of that? And it doesn't put the players in a uncomfortable position I guess um, yeah look uh, I don't really want to talk about that it's, it's that, that's something for the the selection panel um, uh, you know maybe maybe at the end of the series I can I can think about that but but at the moment I don't, I don't, don't really want to talk about that sorry there Chris um, you probably didn't enjoy it particularly at the time but I guess looking back on reflection seeing your Middlesex colleague Steve Finn Oh, like that on his test comeback after two years, it must have been quite nice to see in some ways. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm good friends with him, as you picked up in that <laughs> ticket scandal. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll leave that one. Um, um, so, yeah, it's. I guess I, I saw him when he was at his lowest ebb, you know, and, and he was. He was. I think it was actually here. He was. Um, he was probably in tears um, during a game here and uh, a county game, and and um, you know, it's it's a long way back. So, you know, credit credit to him, but. Um, you know, he's the he's the uh, opposition at the moment. So. Uh, Good luck to him. Um, do you think some of your teammates might have got uh, caught up getting ahead of themselves after the ease of which that second test that you won, or is this more just about the conditions today? No, I don't think so. I, you know, I, I think we we respect, you know, um, England and, and, and particularly their attack, you know, that a lot's been made of, of that second test win. A lot was made of the first test win, you know, and... It's one game. It's one game at a time, and and as cricketers, you you know that the momentum can change so quickly. So, I don't think we got ahead of, ahead of ourselves at all. You know, if anything, I read a lot where we, you know people thought we it was almost game over. But no, nah, there's there's no way you know you 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 disrespect the opposition, particularly when you get conditions like this. Being the last one, James. Um, Chris, the batting performance today, like I mean, it was worse, but it, there was in Cardiff as well. There was a a collapse. Like, is there a concern about the team just really not turning up sometimes with the right sort of focus? And, uh, I don't think the focus is wrong. I, um, you know, I think everyone's desperate to do well. Um, finding a way that that that's possibly a concern. You know, particularly in these these in these um, conditions, which are a little bit foreign to guys. Um, you've got to find a method. You know, and we've got to find it quickly because. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a few more of these kind of conditions. Last one. How important are early wickets tomorrow, especially with the conditions looking better for batting? Oh, crucial. You know, it, it, we need to be able to restrict England here. Um, and, and then when we get a chance, we, we need to get in front of them to a point where we can put a lot of pressure on them in, the, in that fourth inning. So, um, you know, chasing runs that fourth inning is going to be very difficult. But if we let England get too far ahead of us tomorrow, it's going to be a, a real uphill battle. Watch every Ashes moment live. And this is like the days of Lillian Thompson. Oh, how about it? How about it? Buy your live pass at cricket.com.au slash subscribe.